Kia ora, hello, my name is Horu Manahoro, uh, and I'm part of Waiwa. Kia ora, uh, my name is Joshua Rogers, and uh, I'm also part of Waiwa. Waiwa has many meanings. It has meanings of um, the living waters, the meaning of, of being healthy, of well-being. I think for me, uh, Waiwa is about spiritual well-being, uh, physical well-being and mental well-being. And uh, our music... I think uh, encapsulates all of those three tenets uh, together. What we're playing in the album are journeys. With each of the tracks that we play tells its own story. There's there's a moment in each of the songs that that hits one of those three anchor stones. Taha hinengaro, taha wairua, taha tina. So it's the the mental uh, state, the spiritual state and the physical state. Hold on, Mona and I have gone into the studio with the, the idea to keep it very simple. Uh, the tangapuro is recorded straight, uh, direct, and the guitar is also very direct. There's no added effects or anything like that. And that's all partly to do with the kaupapa of our music. The great thing about this album and the traditional Māori musical instruments used in it is there's a sense that each instrument um, can speak for itself. And the history or the tradition that comes with it, um, it fits really well with the theme of each track. I consider my role to really provide a backdrop for him to weave melodies over. So quite often my guitar playing is fairly simple and I'm just providing that canvas for Horo to paint across. The reason being is that the sounds that Horo is able to create with the Tango Puro exactly mimic the sounds of New Zealand. The guitar certainly has uh, entrenched itself, I think, in, in New Zealand culture and certainly Māori culture. So uh, the guitar is, is not out of place uh, in a recording such as this. The silence sometimes carries more weight than notes. When you listen to some of the tracks, there's lots of silence. Our lives are cluttered, full of responsibility, you know, so the three aspects of our lives can be quite cluttered or unbalanced. You know, we need silence. The original concept that we had for the album was for the album to be called Te Puautanga o Te Ao, which, which pretty much means the blossoming of the world. How two extremities can come together and create a woven material of music. So beautiful, so intimate. And the journey that Wailda does is whether you are Māori, whether you are a Tongan, whether you are a Portuguese, no matter where you are from, you can bring together your traditional arts, your traditional music, and fuse it with today's modern contemporary situation and it's persevering, it's, it's, it's getting through there and one of the old sayings, the journey continues. <laughs> <laughs> 